So I gotta be honest with the new Black Clover film. Yo, what's good, it's a boy, do the views, and I just watched the Black Clover movie. I'll keep the first half of the review spoiler free, but the movie is pretty much about four different wizard kings all coming back to crush the Cloverfield and Aster and his friends come together to try and take them out. So let's start off and talk about the good of the film. Not gonna lie, it's really cool seeing the cast all back together again. Seeing all the characters that we all loved from the show all returning for this main movie. Heads up, this movie isn't really canon, but for context you do need to have watched the entire anime series to understand all the characters inside the movie. Except for the Wizard Kings. The Wizard Kings appear to be movie original characters. I think the animation is the main selling point for the film because oh my gosh they do some amazing things with the animation. It's definitely the best Black Clover has ever looked in my opinion very fluid at times. I do love how certain characters when they're fighting you do feel the emotion behind some of these battle attacks particularly with the battle scenes with Aster and Noel. Some of these action moments really felt like something from Demon Slayer and I love how most of the characters from the original anime got their time to shine in some of the battle scenes particularly Mare Leona Vermilion. She had a lot of bad ass moments in this movie despite her being more of a side character and I really do like the villains reasoning as to why they are trying to wreak havoc on the Clover Kingdom. I won't spoil it but you do sort of see their point of view. From there let's talk about the mixed aspects of this film and I must admit the art style does look a little bit different to the original anime. I like the slight art style change but some people may have an issue with that. Also this movie is a sort of canon slash filler movie. According to Wikipedia, it does take place between episodes 157 and 158. I sort of view this film as a filler movie. I would have liked if this film did adapt some of the more canon chapters that take place after the anime concluded. I think it would have made for a very interesting watch. Let's talk about the main negative of the film and it is the story itself. It's pretty weak in areas and I found my mind wandering at times, particularly in the middle act, it was quite boring to be honest with you. Another main issue I had with this film is the pacing and I feel like whenever anime based TV shows are then turned into a movie, the pacing is always really all over the place. It's really fast in areas and then it gets really sluggish in others. In this movie's case, everything is happening so damn fast, you do not have any time to take a breather or whatever. I ended up feeling quite exhausted after watching this film. But those are my non-spoiler thoughts of the film, so go check it out right now. But let's dive into some spoilers for this movie. In terms of spoilers for this film, I think my favourite parts of the film were towards the end where Noel and Aster fight the two Wizard Kings, Conrad and Edward. I was surprised that Noel got a lot of main screen time in that final fight. And I love how both Aster and Noel's backstory and where they came from, they may be two different people but they really had a very similar upbringing when you think about it. The two underdogs trying to prove to the world that they can control their magical powers. You feel bad for the Wizard Kings, particularly Conrad who was framed by the royalists and he had his friends and family all murdered and I think the way he viewed the world completely changed. He saw it as a morally grey place and he just wanted to clean it all up in the form of genocide and the animation of him ranting towards Aster about how unfair the world is and how he's trying to save the peasants and anyone else who was suffering the injustice of this world. Very emotional and powerful stuff right there. I love the scene where his necklace sort of reveals a memory from his past, seeing his old wizard friends and it's like what Julius said towards the end, he was a kind hearted man just like Aster when he was younger before the dark days. It just shows you dude that even though he became this highly respected wizard king, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a great learning lesson for Aster to show him that even if he does reach his goal in the end, he still got a lot of obstacles to overcome. So in a way, Conrad is sort of like a future version of what Aster's life could be like if he became the Wizard King. I like how the action sequences and the visuals also correlate to how certain characters are feeling. With Noelle's battle with Edward, her emotions get heightened just like Edward's and the animation is so sporadic and crazy. But then she calms down just like Edward and she's trying to look into his heart and try and find the good in him. The entire background scenery changes to a really 
really relaxing blue sky and she even tries to save him when he starts to fade away. I really love those simple touches to this story. I think I'll give this a 7.5 out of 10 and a B. Tell me in the comments down below what did you guys think of this movie? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Like this video, subscribe for more anime reactions, reviews, comparisons, breakdowns, rankings and more. But thank you for watching and as always a boy do the view signing out.